Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Super EDF, which if you've never played it before, I'm pretty sure the EDF stands for Earth Defense Force. Don't really pay much attention to that, although it says it on the screen there. All I know is I play it because I enjoy shooting mups or shmups. I personally prefer calling them shmups, however a lot of people complain saying that it's not a real word when uh, pretty much everyone in the shmup community disagrees with you. Uh, but anyway, it's a shmup and... I was contemplating getting it for a while now, and I'll be honest, what finally pushed me over the edge and decided to get it, I was 50 stars away from getting two more packs of Kid Icarus Uprising cards, that's the God's honest truth, I can't see anything other than that. It wasn't a case of someone finally turned me around with the gameplay, I thought, well, I was contemplating it, and I could get two more packs of cards, so I might as well do, and that is pretty much how it went. Anyway. When you go into config, because at the start you can start the game by going to the options, you can choose your shield stock, you can choose your configuration. So, it's configuration 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but no actual customization. However, as there's only three button, I'd be amazed if all of the um, options aren't covered there. Uh, it's just obviously if you wanted to make L and R or anything like that, then you can't. Um, so anyway, I'll go into start, and being a shmup, the whole point is, it's about blowing the hell out of all of your enemies. And, uh, well, doing it with a wide variety of weapons, of which this actually gives you a choice, as you can see, of eight from the start. Not all of them are great, some of them are used for better than other things. I'm going to go with the homing, because it's probably the best one, simply because it homes onto the enemies. Um, and you do it to a backdrop, which uh, graphically I think the game does actually look quite good. Musically I think it sounds good, so I'll let you listen to a bit at the end of the vid. And the whole point of the gameplay is, it's not a case if you get a life and then you die and that. You've actually got a shield which is over there and you can increase that shield by collecting things. However, it's they're really far away and it's the type of thing that I think it does go past five is what I've heard. However, few people have ever seen it go past five because it's pretty much impossible to get to that state without using a crappy little illegal emu and cheating. Uh, but quite frankly, the less said about them the better because I am reviewing the real well, legally paid for version from the VC. I was going to see a real cartridge there, because I do usually buy SNES carts, but I've got this on the VC, obviously. Um, and the whole point is, as you can see, when you get hit, you lose a shield, you don't die or anything, and that's because there's no life system. The life system on this is actually your continue system, and you get the three of them, and that's pretty much it. Once that's done, that's it, you're done and dusted. However, there's only six levels, and that's actually, to be fair, one more than usual in a lot of shoot em ups and... It's just, uh, well, as I say, you stand and shoot up a fair, really. You kick the crap out of your enemy, and then you kick the crap out of a boss, and you go on to the next level. So there's not really much uh, different with the formats. The unique things with this is the fact that you get the eight different weapons at the start, and you get the whole shield system. So um, I'll choose the laser this time, and I'll shut up for a bit of the music. So that was a bit of the music and the only other thing I can see that I forgot to mention but you've probably seen is used quite a bit now is the fact that you get these two little robots and you can either choose to have them circling you with firing different weapons or in this case pulsating or you can use your main weapon which is well basically more powerful but it's less spread wise because this obviously covers a wider variety as did the laser one. So, that's pretty much all I can say. If you like shooting ups and you've got some cash to spare and you're sick to death of not having anything on the VC to buy because Nintendo never release anything and you've maybe been contemplating it for a while, you can do worse. You can do better, but you can do worse. It is a pretty decent little shooting up. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask, and I'll help if I can. Also, 
If you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there. And don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.